Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. We are taking a first look today at a product that's fairly new, actually, from Play Games. It's called Highlight Maker Hoops Prime Time. And we're going to take a look at what you get. And we're also going to look at, for a first look at the NBA 75 all-time stars set that Play Games has that I purchased way back. Black Friday sale, I think it was. Good deal on it. I didn't know how I was going to use it. And so we'll talk more about that and take a look at those cards as well. So it's all about Play Games basketball today. First look, don't know the game. Just getting a look at what's inside and what you can expect if you pick it up yourself. The link is in the description for this video, along with the link to channel membership. And of course, with the channel membership, you get um, discounts on the secondary store, access to members-only videos, and a free gift from me every month. So let's take a look at Play Games Highlight Maker Hoops Prime Time. All right, so naturally, first and maybe foremost, to get your play game stuff in the hermetically sealed bag, uh, kept in a mayonnaise jar on Funk and Wagnall's porch since about noon today. Uh, these are your dice and the uh, pegs and the counters that you need to be able to make sense of uh, play hoops. Uh, prime time. I bought this. This is the how-to ratings guide for hoops. It's been a long time. I'm going to tell you right now, my friends, it's been a long time since I've played a tabletop basketball game. Uh, probably uh, 30 years or more. Uh, but, or at least 25, but, um, I'm interested in the card making process, so I picked this up. Anxious to take a look at that, but that's not today's issue. Today's issue is getting into this, and this is what comes in your package. These are the uh, cards for the NBA 75 set that they have. This is your primetime stuff. So let's take a look inside. This is your... Final minute mode. Now, Keith Avalone has demoed the final minute mode online on uh, YouTube. Have you been to the YouTube? And uh, so this is, uh, this I guess is for final minute mode. I don't know if this is or not. We'll have to find that out. And we have our unusual results lists. Okay, very good. Uh, these are your directions. Your highlight maker, hoops, prime time directions. See how many pages we got here? Uh, not very many, actually. This is a full play basketball game. And they're explaining it to you in about, well, 20 pages. And this is one of those... Uh, shorter sized play games uh, direction books. So pretty good there. You're going to be playing pretty quick, which is good news for me because I am not. I've coached a fair amount of basketball, played a fair amount of basketball, but not a big tabletop basketball guy. My big concern is time to play a game. And so we'll see how that works out, but I'm excited to get this going. Wonderful letter. Always appreciate Keith's letters. Keep that over there. Then we have your play board. Um, so you've got, you can actually do this as two players. You'd have your players, a two player board here. And then you'd have, um, your coach, your bench, resting in foul trouble for both your home and visiting teams. 
and your room for your three officials. And we'll take a look at those in a few minutes from the 75 set. Here is Highlight Maker Hoops Prime Time uh, boards for. Wow, a lot of stuff here. And then come your cards. So this is your lightning status, your free throw rebounds, your inbound result, and your TV timeout possibilities. All right. Then you have your sort of your fast action deck here. This is what your... Um, This is what drives gameplay here. So these are perforated four per sheet. And this also is what determines the length of your game. Uh, choosing the number of these that you want to go with uh, will affect your final score, of course, how many points you guys are going to play to. And if you want to pare this down for college play or uh, just a, a shorter game, you can do that. Uh, just by adjusting the number of cards in the deck. So these are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Looks like 13. 13 times 4, I'll take off my shoes and socks. Uh, 52 times 4. Uh, so we got over 200 possibilities here for cards. Oh, no, wait, Thir what am I doing? 13 times 4 would give you uh, 60, gee whiz, 62, 52. I can do it, don't worry. Let's bust out the protractor and the slide rule. If I'm right at 13 times 4, that is 52. How about that? And uh, that would affect your timing of your game. So pretty good that way card stock is good 110 pound i'd say and these are uh these are perforated yes they are all right then inside here you get your some officials from the 2021 campaign uh the 2021 hawks the 2021 bucks 2021 Atlanta, 2021 Clippers, and the 2021, is that right? The Clippers? Yes, it is. And then the Atlanta, and then the Clippers, and then the Suns. All right. Here's your score sheets. Um, I guess that's what these are. Kind of keep your running tallies here. And uh, kind of a, what, a simplified shorthand sort of a score sheet in case you don't want to keep full stats. Um, and what do we have here? Oh, this is, uh, that's something else. All right, here we go. Here's your 75s. Now your 75 set is... Divided up, we have referees. We have Earl Strom, Jerry Crawford, Dick Bavetta. And we have some coaches, Steve Kerr, Casey Jones, Phil Jackson. Oh, Daryl Gerritsen's another referee. Jerry Sloan is a coach. Doc Rivers is a coach. Uh, Pat Riley, Jack, Dr. Jack Ramsey, Greg Popovich, Don Nelson, Brad Holtzman, Larry Brown, Richie Powers would be another referee, Brad Auerbach, Mindy Rudolph, another referee, Lenny Wilkins, wow, Earl's, Earl Spolstra, why do I not know his name? I feel like I should, and Chuck Daly. Okay, so those are your coaches. Now, what I thought I would do, and I did not buy the Franchise All-Star set. So what I thought, and the reason I did that, did not do that, is because I want to learn the game with these and pick up the Franchise All-Stars later. So uh, 
We made one early team here, and we're going to cut down so you can watch me do my cuts. This is the 1960s and before uh, team, and what I'm going to do is to pick 11 or try to pick 11 guys here from this breakdown of all-time greats. So this is the 60s set. We're going to look at, and we give you the names in just a minute. Um, but I want an 11-man team. So let's look and see what our options are here. First, we've got... Um, all right, we'll do it this way. All right, so here are the players to choose from, and boy, this is not going to be easy. We've got centers, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, George Mike, and Billy Cunningham is listed as a center. I don't think he played center. I think he was a forward. Granted, he could jump out of the gym, but I don't think he played much center. So we'll, we'll leave that there. The guards, Hal Greer, Bill Sharman, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson, Sam Jones, and Lenny Wilkins. Then your forwards, Dolph Shays, Elgin Baylor, Bob Pettit, Paul Arison, and Jerry Lucas. Now, I have a feeling, I'm going to keep all three centers here, but I have a feeling I'm going to be playing some aircraft carrier lineups here, shifting one of these centers to a forward and get them playing time that way. So, boy, this is not easy. Um, of course, Jerry Lucas played some center, too. That also will uh, complicate matters. But what I'm going to do is to uh, cut Charmin, Shays, Arizin, and keep three centers plus... Uh, Billy Cunningham, Baylor, Pettit, and Lucas as my forwards. I can see myself going with some with some three guard arrangements too. Um, but we're keeping Sam Jones, we're keeping Oscar, we're keeping Kuzi. That brings us down to Greer or Wilkins, and I'm going to keep Lenny Wilkins. Sorry, Hal. But we're going to bring those guys back, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a minute. So this gives us our 11 players of our team of old-timers. So this is the 50s and 60s team, and those are our 11 players. Now it's going to get tougher. I'm going to pick a coach for them. Well, the first coach is probably going to be pretty easy to figure out who that's going to be. All right, now we've got the 70s. Now, I had to put Jabbar somewhere. Uh, and so I decided to put him in the 70s. I may regret that, but um, that's where he is. So same rule applies here now. They're calling McAdoo a center. I know he played a lot of forward. Uh, Nate Thurmond, a center. Wes Unseld, a center. Uh, this is fun to do, by the way. And there's a reason why I'm making cuts. Aside from wanting to have a workable bench for each team, uh, the sixth team is going to be kind of a combination of guys from multiple time periods. All right, so you can see that in the 70s team here, now these are not uh, organized by... Uh, there's not time periods on here for these guys. I'm picking the decade that they were most known for. So uh, Jabbar makes the team, he just does. Uh, and I'm going to say Walton makes the team also. Now I'm going to come back and maybe pick up a third center. We'll see about that. Guards will be West without even having to think about it. Maravich, without having to think about it, Walt Frazier, and uh, Nate Archibald. 
So we've got our four guards there with apologies to Gervin, Bing, and Monroe. Now we're down to our forwards. Uh, Elvin Hayes, yes. Havlicek, yes. So Barry and, and Irving, yes. So DeBusher is the odd man out. So we got 10 guys here. Look at this team real quick. We've got um, Jabbar and Walton. Got to come back here. Organize my guys that I just messed up. Okay, so we've got Jabbar and Walton at the centers. Let me know what you think of these teams. Maybe I'm making some bad cuts here. Jabbar and Walton are your centers for the 70s. Guards are Frazier, Archibald, Maravich, and West. Not necessarily in that order. Forwards are Elvin Hayes, John Havlicek, Rick Barry, and Dr. J. So from this group that's left, I get to pick one guy. And I am going to choose... I'm going to... Ch yeah. I'm going to choose Willis Reed, although I could be talked into McAdoo, but they're also going with three centers. All right, so we take these guys and we put them aside, but they're going to be coming back later. Now it gets tough. We get tougher. We get to the 80s. Kevin McHale, of course, we know played a lot of center, but... Uh, his card here is as him as a forward, and I don't have a huge problem with that, so we're going to leave him as a, consider him a forward for the moment. Um, this is another team that sort of screams keeping extra guys, but we aren't going to need to. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Um, so we've got Seven guards and forwards. Magic, Drexler, and Isaiah are the guards. Forwards are Worthy, Wilkins, Bird, and McHale. All right, so that gets us to seven. That means we can keep all four big men, and I'm going to. So we don't need to make any cuts on the team of the 80s. Uh, they're good as they are. All right. So that's fine. They're going to be playing some jumbo lineups from time to time as well, it looks like. And now we're up to the 1990s. And this, our numbers get a little larger here. So we got our forwards. Dennis Rodman didn't really have a position, but calling him a forward is no problem with me. Um, the big men are... Boy... All right, now we have these other guys that were created, extra players that were created. These are the freebies on the website that I am adding to the mix here. They may not make the teams, but we'll see how they do. These are all the team, the players of the 90s that we're looking at here. And it is... Centers, Dikembe Mutombo, Tim Duncan, David Robinson. Guards, Tim Hardaway, Joe Dumars, Reggie Miller, John Stockton, Gary Payton, and Michael Jordan. Forward, Sean Kemp, Horace Grant, Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman. All right, so I could move Dumars to the team of the 80s, couldn't I? But, you know, he had better seasons in the 90s, and that's why I put him here. But uh, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to move him to the 80s, and he will be a fourth guard. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then I'm going to have to cut a big man. And that's not going to be, you know what, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't cut one of these guys. Moses Malone, Robert Parrish, Patrick Ewing, or Hakeem. I guess I have to cut Parrish, so I'm going to do it. I'll cut Parrish, pick up Dumars, and that'll give me four guards, four forwards, and three centers on the 80s. All right, now, here are your, here are your members of the team of the 90s. 
I can't keep more than four guards. Tim Hardaway going to go to the bone pile. Sean Kemp and Horace Grant. I can't do either one of them either. So we're going to go three centers, although I know what's going to happen here. I don't think Mutombo is going to play very much, but I guess that's the way it goes. Someone's going to ride the bench. Um, so for the team of the 90s, it'll be Duncan, Robinson, and Mutombo uh, as the big men. Reggie Miller, John Stockton, Gary Payton, Michael Jordan are the guards. And the forwards, Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman. Now, um, the next batch we have uh, are the 2000s. So this team here, Shaq, Kobe, Ray Allen, Jason Kidd, Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, Ben Wallace, Carmelo, uh, Garnett, Nowitzki, and Pierce. This makes up an 11-man team of the 2000 aughts, and I'm going to leave them like they are. I have some guys in the modern team that kind of could fall either way, but I made some decisions, and this team just sort of works out in, as an 11-man group. Going to be tough to figure out who play, gets playing time. Shaq, obviously, is the center, but... Uh, I could finesse the backup center thing a little bit um, and go with three forwards from time to time if that's needed. All right, so we have five teams so far, and now we've got our modern team, the contemporary guys. These are guys maybe not active at the moment, but they are within the last 15 years. I call this is from... Like, if your career was from 2011 forward to now, this is the batch that you get here. But I'm not going to keep all these guys because I'm not sure. Because what I want to do is to make kind of a the sixth team to be kind of eclectic. So I'm going to bring some of these guys back. First thing that jumps out at you, you don't have a true center here. I know there isn't really such a thing in today's game. So we got to make some cuts. Uh, we'll keep LeBron, Giannis, and Durant. And we'll keep Curry, Harden, and Wade. And I'm going to pull five guys from this... Uh, the bone pile from the cuts that were made in the other team. And so this team is going to be kind of a, it's going to be mostly these guys, the six from our current guys, mostly current guys. And then we're going to choose five that have been cut. So Horace Grant's not getting it. Sean Kemp's not getting it. Tim Hardaway might. We'll come back to him. Robert Parrish might. Uh, Thurmond, he might. Cowens, no. McAdoo, yes. Unseld, no. Bing, no. Earl the Pearl kind of fits in there. Gervin is tempting, but the guy never played defense, but I'll hold that on. Uh, Hal Greer, maybe. All right. So what I'm going to do is something like this. I'm going to call Gervin a forward. Use my imagination a little bit. Take a look at these. Um, I'm going to drop Harden here. I don't think he's better than the other four. So, well, you know what? I can keep him. I'll keep him there, and we'll go with two centers. We'll go with McAdoo and Parrish. And I'll apologize to Nate Thurman because I think he deserves a spot. But right now I'm not seeing one. So this this last team, Team 6, McAdoo and Parrish at center, Harden, Greer, Monroe, 
Curry and Wade at guards, and the forwards will be James, Giannis, Durant, and Gervin. That'll make 11. Now, what's going to happen now? Well, we got our six teams. Oh, we need uh, coaches, don't we? Got to choose our coaches. Uh, Daly, I guess. Wilkins, yes. Auerbach. Larry Brown, I'm tempted, but no. Red Holtzman's tempting. Don Nelson, yes. I'm saying one of the best coaches. Uh, Riley, Rivers, kind of idiosyncratic in here. Phil Jackson, yes. Casey Jones, oh boy, this is not easy. Six guys out of this group. All right, so Auerbach, I'm giving the oldest group to. The 70s, well, I'm going to say no to Red Holtzman and yes to Lenny Wilkins. That's going to get me in trouble, but I'm doing it anyway. So Lenny Wilkins gets the 70s. The job he did coaching those Sonics teams, I'm convinced. I'm in. Uh, okay, so we're going to give Phil Jackson the last team. Uh, Chuck Daly gets the 80s. Don Nel no, you know what? Don Nelson gets the 80s. We'll give Chuck Daly the 90s. And we'll give Pat Riley the 2000s. All right. So now we got our six teams and their coaches. I'll figure out referees later. Um, and now, what am I doing? Well, what I'm going to do now is to pull this book back and really dive in and do some study and get some playing time in and hopefully get it on the channel. If you want to see it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of my teams. I can't believe the quality of guys that didn't make any of the teams. Thurman, DeBusher, Arizon, too old. Shays, too old. Charmin, too old. Hardaway, Really good. Dave Bing, really good. Wes Unseld was a force. Dave Cowens, a force. Sean Kemp, how can you leave the father of our country off the off one of these teams? Horace Grant, critically underrated. Russell West. And you get the modern guys who are, I don't know, are they too close for me to judge fairly? Might be. All right, that's where we got our first look at Highlight Maker Hoops Prime Time plus the 75. Thanks for being with me. More coming on the channel. Don't forget to check out Play Games. The link is in the description of, my, of this video. And, and channel membership. That link is in the description for this video as well. Have a great evening. Thanks for being here. So long, everybody.